Actually, headphones are right there for you. Uh, once we're all sort of in our places, yours are back there, Eric. I just don't oh, want yeah, yeah, Daniel yeah. to trip up on Really? <laughs> I'm Amy, and I'm a music producer, recording engineer at Grand Avenue. Been for 13 years now. Every day is so different. You know, you do everything from make coffee to make songs, so it's really hard to describe. You guys have been around for some of the band stuff that we do, so generally my role there is setting up for a session, running a smooth session, getting sounds, getting them quickly, uh, and just making everybody comfortable so that we get a good performance. Other times you work with um, someone who'll come in with just an idea in their head, so your job is to take that idea and turn it into something that can be heard which is kind of neat to take an intangible thought and make it something somewhat tangible. Straight to my love is hard for me. Nice, yeah, nobody but me. You, babe, please you my cry and be your hair all night. Well, I've been a musician since I was four. That's when I started my piano lessons. Um, I took trumpet when I was seven switched to, not switched, but took up bass when I was 14. And uh, when I was 17, I started working with Ian Thomas with a folk group, which was signed to RCA. I walked into a studio, which there was only big studios back then. And the minute I walked in the control room and heard the speakers, I went, okay, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. One, two, Well, my experience here is fantastic. I've been here for many years, played on lots of different sessions, and uh, uh, it's one of my favorite places to make music, for sure. They do a really good job of getting people ready to play right away. So there are a lot of other studios where you come in and it's a hurry up and wait kind of environment where you come in and it's, oh yeah, downbeat, so 11 a.m. And you go in and it's 12.30 and uh, there's still coffee. There's, you know, where's my biscuits? You know, like, you know, not that I'm a diva or anything, but, you know, it's just nice to be able to walk into a room and uh, just know that if 11 a.m. means 11 a.m. They're really very vigilant about keeping everybody focused and yet relaxed at the same time. So, it's awesome. on syrup and honey. My experience here at Grant Ave, when I was in college, I came here in my third year and I did a recording with Adrian Frugia and we did a full length album and I sold it at my grad recital. So I've worked with Amy before and it's been a wonderful experience. When I finished a recording course uh, in Stony Creek, I sent out 142 resumes. Um, Bob Deutsch called me back and a rap studio in Brampton called me back so I had no question about where I wanted to do an internship. So I started here in 2002 and uh, my timing was good because uh, at that time they were finishing up an album for Gordon Lightfoot and he had taken sick so he was in the hospital and they needed some, some good help to finish that project. So it was all, I guess, kind of just a, a good timing thing on, on my part to be around at that time and then, then you just make yourself indispensable. So um, I started, you know, assisting and and uh, working with all sorts of really great local talent and, and guys from Toronto and things like that. So, and then after a while you build up your own client base and people that are a little more comfortable working with, with you. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Had the opportunity to go to other places and I, I don't want to leave. This is, this is my home. Every month something happens in here that gives me a shiver. And I suspect that's somewhat what I'm addicted to because I love doing this. I've always loved doing this. So. Regardless of whether the person's famous or just starting out, um, the memorable moments are really just that song that passes by and it's so good you know you've captured something, you know, as opposed to rehearsing it and it's great. I've always got the machine in record. The rehearsal is in record, everything's in record. And more rehearsals become records simply because when they're running it down, there's no pressure. They're just running it down, but they get into it. And I think of all the things that you're doing, and in my head I paint a picture. I think 
think what makes Grand Avenue unique and special, uh, aside from the history and the heritage of the building, which is really important, uh, not only to the music community of Hamilton, but to the country, um, our focus right now is on the artists that are going to be here in the future and a lot of people still come here because of that heritage but I think one of the things that really sets us apart is like I was saying before about um, removing the separation between producer engineer and the artist we we try whatever we can to be friends and, and come together and work together uh, and make everybody comfortable so I think a lot of the people come here because it just feels like home